face. Well, Never. your time on the street is is coming to an end. You're just, you've you've made the decision to bow out. I know, but she's had a great run. Here she is. This is Lizzie's life on the street. Big hair, short skirt, and fat trouble. Could only be Liz McDonald. She's a lady talking about that little lady, and the lady is mine. Why did we have to come here? Because it happens to be all we can afford for now. So we're just going to have to make the most of it. At least it's ours, not the army's. So does that mean you're looking for a barmaid? Why, do you know what? You're talking to one. Now, this business, uh, it's, uh, it's like no other business. There's no business like show business. I'm not joking. Could you just help Betty set bar up, Raquel? I am doing. Well, could you make it a bit more obvious? We eat as a family. Oh, the family that boozes together? <laughs> Loses together. There you are. That remark will show you what the crack's like. And when has our marriage had time for me? Well, what's that supposed to mean? It means I've spent years, years and years and years, bringing your sons up virtually on my own, while you were off on exercises and manoeuvres and stupid games in Germany and God knows where. Miles away from me, friends away from me, mother. I did that for you. Now it's my turn. <gasps> mm. Harry, how dare you? Pinching my bum. Don't talk, just kiss. Let your tongue fool around. Let's fool around. I was born between those legs. Uh, yes, we know where it is. Thank you. Mm -mm. Not in the ginnel. You scum, Karen. Selfish, lying, cheating, money-grabbing scum. I want an apology. Don't hold your breath. Or better still, do. Is now. Here, get your chubby hands off me, lady. <laughs> chubby! Chubby, I'm not out of here, chubby! <laughs> Believe me, Diggory, I won't ride a bike over these cobbles for nobody. I, Vernon Tomlin, take you, Elizabeth Jane MacDonald, to be my wedded wife. Vernon, can you catch? Hey. When I say it's over, I mean it's over. Do you understand? Yes. Oh, and I believe these are definitely <laughs> yours, you two-timing, lying cheat. I don't ever want to see your scrawny face ever again! What can I get you? I wish you wouldn't say it like that. Like what? Well, you sound like a madam in a brothel. <laughs> Actually, Liz, I was trying to emulate you. Do you think I dress tart? Mother! Come out of there with your hands up! No, I didn't mean literally with your hands. <laughs> Who'd have thought? Liz MacDonald giving up on men. No, I didn't say that. Just younger men. Go away. Liz, I'm sorry. I had no idea. <laughs> Some job interview. What job? Prostitute. Two words. <laughs> Mutton and lamb. <laughs> How dare you do this to my Steve? Put a skirt on, love. It's obscene. When you get to my age, 40 plus just, there's a very fine line between tarty and glam. And I like to think I'm teetering on the glam side. <laughs> oh, wow. Amazing that you can actually get paid for something that you love doing. It is fantastic. But I must tell you, we we always, as the McDonald family, once the boys had started, Liz, Liz started first, then Jim, and then the boys came. And we used to try and make it as real as possible. 
I learn my scripts because I'm so paranoid and such a worrier, you know what I'm like. I learn them way in advance. Charlie, who played Jim, used to learn them five minutes ago. Wow. And so it's sort of come on and wing it sometimes. But it's wonderful, wonderful. But uh, we were doing a scene together where Andy McDonald was supposed to have a girlfriend and he was supposed to come down smelling of aftershave and Jim McDonald was supposed to say, hey, I suspect there's a woman involved here. And Charlie said, I suspect there's a Volivar involved here. <laughs> <laughs> and we all carried on for about two minutes. <laughs> well, it's time for you to be reunited oh. because as coincidence would happen, it is exactly 21 years today that our first guest made his debut on Coronation Street as Andy McDonald. With the arrival of his feuding family with our Bev as the matriarch, the nation was introduced to the Tearaway twins, Andy and Steve. And for almost a decade, we watched as Andy outsmarted his brother time and time again. His character is meant to be in Spain, but for Corey's 50th, we've decided to reunite him with Bev. Please welcome Nick Cochran. <laughs> Look at you. That's good. Hello. Look All right, love. Oh, this is intimidating. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? What a fantastic bit of footage that was, then, wasn't it? Oh, that's amazing. Superb. What Superb. a wardrobe. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know. Can you remember your very first day, 21 years ago? No, exactly? no, Bev knocked that out of me a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> we never got through a scene without me getting a dig in or something. I always got a crack. But, no, yeah, of course I can remember it like it was yesterday. Yes, yeah, for sure. Did you... Uh, you knew Simon that played Steve McDonald before you went in, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, we went to the same school together, yeah. So yeah. did you audition together? Um, yes, we did. We auditioned together and in front of... <laughs> I'll tell you what, this is intimidating. That was ridiculously intimidating, that was, because was, Bev and Charlie were there, obviously, <gasps> oh, and... Um... So you'd already been cast, you and Charlie? Yes. Yeah. So you were, looking for, you were looking for your sons? Yeah. Yes. And did, did the chemistry click? Was that dynamic there from the get-go with the four of you? Well, um, when, when me and Simon auditioned, it was just an improvisation thing, really. They sort of set a scene where um, Liz and Jim had gone away, supposedly for the evening, and we'd gone through the drinks cabinet. And they came, I know, and they came back early, and we had to take it from there. Well, Simon's hilarious. <laughs> yes. You know, I mean, he's just funny all the time. And so we just made him laugh, really, and, and, and we kind of got, you know, at that age, we looked sort of similar, you know? You I mean, Simon obviously had to highlight his hair. <laughs> Um, you sort of like bros. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> and did you get on with these two immediately? Yes, yes, absolutely. We, you, you can't not. You can't. Uh, Bev, I mean, Bev, you get on with Bev anyway, not a problem. And Charlie, there's slightly more trouble, but you know. And did you have rows with a proper brother rows though? Um, not. I mean, we did on set. I yeah. mean, we did, but not not particularly as, um, as as myself and Simon. No, we 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 got on very very well, and and it just it did just well, click like that, didn't it? Yeah, for all four of us. Yeah, it did. absolutely. It was brilliant. There was we always used to have these scenes in the McDonald's, didn't we, forever Breakfast. and ever, and. There was one time I'd got to say a line and then drain my cup of tea, and these two, the two boys, had put this. It, that filled my cup with green slime. Oh. <laughs> well, it was funny when you're 16. You, know, it was... you were there. You had to be there. Yeah, um, yeah. What were your favourite moments from from your time? Well, well I've just had this conversation, and there's, there's just a myriad of them. And of course, when you get older, like myself, and 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 you, you, the children and stuff, and it all just go, it all just disappears. Really, you know, you, it just all your goes brain into the mushroom. Well, yeah, quite it? absolutely, yeah. and stuff. But you don't. There was hundreds and hundreds of, of, of occasions where it was it was great fun to be there, and I had, a, I had a great time. There's been loads of times, loads of times. I particularly remember doing a scene with Bev, um, where, as she was just saying, she learnt a script, word perfect, and we were particularly unword perfect, Not, yeah. if that's a word. And 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 I remember thinking at the time. You know, she really knows what she's doing here, and I'm going to have to. It's like she's a professional. Well, yes, yeah. quite. <laughs> so, so yeah. Now there's been there's been loads of occasions: breaking windows, smashing up bedrooms, fighting, being beaten up, getting a good crack off off <laughs> mum. But it was yeah, standard. I used to slap him all the time. Yeah, I mean, there was many a time I would go home. With but a also, we did panto together. Didn't we, did. We? We, we did. We did. Panto and you're back together. in panto this year, aren't yes. you? Where were you I this am, year? I am. Well, we're, we're, we're moving it around. We're, we're, we're starting... Uh, we, we do a lot of um, shows for the for schools, because, of course, the kids love it, and it's yeah. just great, and the reaction's Have brilliant. Have you learned your lines for this? Well, it's funny you should say that, actually, because, <laughs> no, it's the, it's the simple answer <laughs> to that. Who are you playing? I'm doing all right. I'm Prince Charming, love. Oh! oh. 
Oh. The oldest oh. Prince Charming on the circuit by a, co <laughs> by a country mile. Oh, that's awful. It's not that bad. Oh, no, it's not that Yes. Uh, so, so, yes, I'm Prince Charming. Um, and, and like I say, we, we, we start... And then it goes off to, uh, to Cannock. Uh, and then for, for Christmas and then into the new year we come back up north to, to, to Colne so it's, uh, it's, it's good fun and it's all near me which is good because I didn't really... My birthday's at Christmas and you've got kids and everything and you just don't get any time do you? Yeah, you get Christmas yeah. Day off and yeah. that's your lot. Yeah. So I didn't really... I, I wasn't going to do it again but I, this, this is particularly good because I can get home and, and see the kids yeah, and stuff. As long so as you get in. That's what it's all about at Christmas, the kids, isn't quite, it? Quite, quite, quite. Thank you for coming in today. No, not at all, not at all. It's great. with it's your on-screen mum. It's good to see you. Thank you so much. Nick Cochran, everyone. Thank you. side of the ads is your Christmas to-do list getting you all tied up in knots. We'll see you in a bit. <laughs> what bothers me at the moment as the mother of a, of a young boy is these hip-hop videos and, and the R&B videos where women are seen completely as accessories. They are possessions. Mm, yeah. They are spoken about in the most derogatory, second-rate terms. Mm. And I don't want my son growing up thinking that that is what a woman is. But that, They're yeah, not. I to, want... I exactly. Think, I, so, I I, you not know... all like that. But I agree that some of them are. And I think sometimes you do think, is it me? And you start to doubt yourself and wonder if it's because you're older. But, and I can remember when Rebecca was growing up, you know, it was the thriller video when she was into Bross and all the rest of it. But I think it's important to chat to them and uh, try and restrict the viewing. And I think you've got to, and I think it's really difficult for girls especially, maybe more than boys. And don't but make them scared so they hide it. No, that's, that's the most right. You have to thing. talk about it more Absolutely. than anything else, I think. Well, remember, if you've got anything to add... Uh... So than ever now, but you know, there's always been things that kids can find. And I think if you're on that, if you're on there and you talk to them, and I mean, my daughter's 26, so fine. Incredible winter's free up. Fine. 